you know, um, as coaches or people in position of leadership, I don't care whether it's sport or, or business for that matter, um, we, we have a bunch of individual relationships. And I think that uh, if you want to get the best out of the people that you work with, it's important that you have those intimate relationships, that you understand them. Uh, and by that, I mean understand them personally, uh, what their hopes, dreams are, what their fears are, what motivates them, et cetera. And uh, there's no shortcut uh, in terms of uh, developing those real meaningful relationships. You, you got to get intimate with people. You got to have uh, a knowledge of who and what they are. And uh, I think that that's something that uh, if you're committed to leading, that, that that's an element of it. I don't know what it's like in other cities, Coach, but in Pittsburgh, all of you, you know, support each other, you know, the players and and management. I know Kevin Colbert's a hockey fan, too, as well as a Pirates fan. <laughs> Because like, like like all people in Western PA, we're sports fans, you know? Uh, when, when our work ends, we get an opportunity to take a step back and, and watch and support others, and, and they do the same for us. Uh, it's really an awesome fraternity, and uh, one that I'm humbled to be a part of. How are your baseball skills? Minimal, uh, <laughs> minimal, but uh, pretty good in my mind, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I'll probably be better off coaching in that area too. I'd like to maybe be a third base coach. I'd send everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't like to stand up there and get a 95 mile an hour fastball for them to you? Everybody's got a little something dirty about their jobs. You know what I mean? Uh, that's an element of baseball that I respect. <laughs> you know, I know you've done this a couple times. Are there any players that you've gotten to know a little bit over the years? Yeah, I, you know, um, I've gotten to know quite a few of these guys. Obviously, the guys that have been around. I uh, really enjoy uh, seeing my man Hughes. Uh, you know, he's the guy that I, I tend to gravitate to from time to time. I just love his approach to it, his passion for it. But, uh, you know, the guys that have been around, we have a uh, good relationship with and really respect what it is they do. When well, you just say in, so maybe you just yeah. step in there. He, he has the look of one, <laughs> uh, but that conversation might be a little too real right now considering that, that Heath just retired. So uh, we haven't been joking about it as much as we normally do. <laughs> <laughs> have you thought what it would be like to manage your coach 162 games over a season? Um, I hadn't. Um, you know, I, I enjoy competition. Uh, I would imagine that that wouldn't be a negative for me. How much baseball have you followed throughout your life? Um, you know, um, depends on what you're comparing it against. I'd say marginal, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy um, sport in general. I, I, I enjoy having an opportunity to get behind the curtain, if you will, to, to understand the things that are important, uh, maybe the things you can't measure, uh, how groups come together, how people um, melt talent together. Um, those are the things that I really appreciate uh, about coming down here and watching watching them grow um, is, is the team oriented things, things that I can learn from and maybe uh, take back to my group. Do you get a chance to take the kids to the baseball games? Quite a bit, um, quite a bit. Um, you know, we, we've seen quite a few over the years and I don't imagine that's gonna change. Are they bigger baseball or football fans? Um, you know, they, they view baseball and, and football differently in Pittsburgh. Uh, football in Pittsburgh is, is dad's job and guys that work with dad. Uh, whereas, you know, if they see Cut or Jay Hay, I mean, those are sports stars. So uh, it's a little bit of a difference. You know, Antonio is just a guy that works with dad. <laughs>